Hey y'all, Ellen here. I hope you're ready for some exciting news today. Get ready for some big news coming out of Johor, Malaysia. This is something that's going to shake things up in a big way. They're switching up their weekends. Yes, you heard that right. Starting January 1st, 2025, Johor is saying goodbye to Friday-Saturday weekends and hello to Saturday-Sunday weekends. Can you believe it? It's a major shift. It's a huge change, and you know what that means. We've got a lot to unpack. This isn't just a minor tweak. It's a complete overhaul of how weekends are experienced. So, buckle up, buttercups, because we're diving headfirst into the world of Johor's weekend shakeup. There's so much to explore and understand. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ellen, why is this such a big deal? Why should we care about a weekend change? Well, imagine this. You've lived your whole life with Friday and Saturday as your days off. It's a routine that's deeply ingrained. Suddenly, bam, it's Saturday and Sunday. Everything you knew about your weekend is flipped. It's a big adjustment, right? It changes how you plan your week, your social life, and even your work. That's what the amazing people of Johor are about to experience. And we're here to break it all down for you. We're going to dive deep into the implications. We're gonna talk about why this change is happening, the reasons behind it, what it means for everyone living and working in Johor, and how it will impact daily routines, and what the bigwigs are saying about it all. We'll hear from the decision makers and their perspectives. Plus, we'll explore the potential upsides, like more aligned weekends with the rest of the world, and downsides of this weekend switcheroo. There are always pros and cons to such a significant change. Get ready for a wild ride. This is going to be an adventure you won't want to miss. All right, folks, before we jump into the nitty gritty of Johor's weekend makeover, let's take a little trip down memory lane. It's always fascinating to see how traditions evolve over time. You see, Johor hasn't always had Friday and Saturday weekends. The concept of weekends itself has seen quite a transformation here. Back in the day, way back in 1981, they used to have Sunday as their day of rest, just like many other places around the world. It was a time when families would gather and the streets would be quieter. But then came 1995 and things took a turn. The winds of change were blowing and Johor was about to experience a significant shift. The Sultan of Johor at the time decided to align the state's weekend with Friday, which is a significant day for Muslims as it's the day of congregational prayer. This decision was both cultural and religious, aiming to bring the community closer. It was a decision meant to honor religious practices and create a sense of unity. Families adapted and new traditions were born, blending the old with the new. So for the past three decades, the people of Johor have embraced Friday and Saturday as their time to unwind, recharge and spend precious moments with loved ones. Parks, malls and homes buzzed with weekend activities. Now, with this new change on the horizon, it's like hitting the rewind button and going back to the good old days of Sunday as a rest day. It's a nostalgic shift, bringing back memories for many. It's a fascinating blend of the past and the present, wouldn't you say? The journey of weekends in Johor is a testament to how traditions can evolve yet remain deeply rooted in the community's heart. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Why is Johor making this change? Well, picture this. It's Friday and you're stuck in a meeting while your family in another state is already enjoying their weekend. 
That's the situation many in Johor face with the current Friday-Saturday weekend. See, the rest of Malaysia rocks the Saturday-Sunday weekend. This difference has caused a bit of a hiccup, especially for families and businesses with ties across state lines. It's like trying to synchronize a dance routine when everyone's listening to a different beat. It just doesn't quite work out. The new Saturday-Sunday weekend aims to bridge this gap. It's all about better aligning Johor with the national schedule, making things smoother for interstate dealings and boosting the economy through improved coordination. Hold on to your hats, because we're about to hear from the future generation, the students. This weekend change is a pretty big deal for them, especially those juggling school and family time across state lines. Imagine having to cram in a visit to grandma and grandpa in another state all in one day because of mismatched weekends. Talk about stressful. With the new Saturday-Sunday weekend, we can finally breathe a sigh of relief. We'll have more quality time with our families without the rush. Plus, think about all the fun activities and outings we can enjoy with our friends who live in other parts of Malaysia. It's all about fostering those connections and making the most of our weekends. Section 5. Working 9 to 5. How the change impacts employees. OK, let's talk business. Literally, the shift to Saturday-Sunday weekends is causing quite a stir in the workplace, and rightfully so. For many folks in Johor, it's a whole new ball game when it comes to work-life balance. Think about it. Meetings, deadlines and collaborations. They all need to be recalibrated to fit this new rhythm. It's a big adjustment and some employees might need a little time to find their groove. But hey, every cloud has a silver lining, right? The good news is that this change could potentially open doors for more flexible work arrangements like remote work options or even a compressed work week. Who knows? Maybe Johor will become the trendsetter for a more balanced and fulfilling work life. Section 6. Voices from the top leaders weigh in. Now, it's time to hear from the bigwigs, the folks calling the shots in Johor. The state's top leaders, including the Johor Regent, Tanku Ismail Sultan Ibrahim, and the Johor Chief Minister On Hafiz Ghazi, have voiced their support for this monumental change. They believe that aligning Johor's weekend with the rest of Malaysia will bring about a whole host of positive changes, from boosting the state's economy to strengthening family bonds. They understand that change can be a little bumpy at first, but they're confident that it's a step in the right direction for the people of Johor. Section 7. Weekends Reimagined Benefits of the Shift All right, let's put on our optimistic glasses and talk about the potential benefits of this weekend shake-up. First and foremost, families stand to gain big time. Imagine this. No more frantic Friday night dashes across state lines to catch up with loved ones. With Saturday and Sunday as the new weekend, families can finally enjoy those leisurely weekend brunches, fun-filled outings, and quality time together without the stress of mismatched schedules. It's all about strengthening those bonds and creating lasting memories. And hey, let's not forget about the economic boost. Aligning Johor's weekend with the national schedule is like greasing the wheels of commerce. It could lead to smoother transactions, increased productivity, and a more vibrant marketplace. It's a win-win for businesses and the state's economy. Section 8. Challenges and Concerns Navigating the Transition Now, let's get real for a second. While this weekend change holds a lot of promise, it's not without its share of challenges and hurdles. One of the biggest concerns is the potential disruption to people's routines and daily schedules. Think about it. For the past three decades, the people of Johor have lived and breathed Friday-Saturday weekends ingraining it into their lifestyle. Switching things up can take some getting used to, and it's natural for folks to feel a little apprehensive and uncertain. From adjusting work schedules to coordinating family time, it's a period of adaptation and adjustment for everyone involved. Another concern is the potential impact on businesses. 
particularly those in the tourism and hospitality sectors, which thrive on consistency. With a different weekend schedule than the rest of Malaysia, they might face some initial hiccups in attracting visitors and maintaining steady foot traffic.